What's up everyone, Thrall's Metal here once again. I am Necrotic Nick, and I have an album review for you. This one was brought to us courtesy of Screaming Toilet. Again, cool site, full of all sorts of reviews, articles, all sorts of cool pop culture related stuff. It's a lot of fun, definitely check it out. So today I am reviewing the new album from Hayes Maze, Hymns of the Damned. This came out in November of 2019, so yeah, it took a little while to get to it. This came out on Ripple Music, and this is their second full length. They are a stoner, Doom slash rock band from Stockholm, Sweden, and definitely got to fit in with that ilk with bands like Monolord, which we are jamming right now, and Greenleaf. So it opens up with Shadows in the Night, and right away you get the sense of doom. But it's interesting in terms of the production. It's very excellent production. I actually love it. It's very organic. Everything's well separated. This is a really cool three piece, so every instrument really stands out well. But I think the guitar tone, while as great as it is, really favors more of a rock tone. It's somewhere between doom metal and stoner rock or stoner metal. It isn't overly fuzzy like stoner metal, but it also doesn't have the huge crunch that you'd expect from a doom metal band. So it's just this kind of nice, hefty, thick rock tone. Now it leads in with a nice little stomping bass drum that is instantly reminiscent of Black Sabbath and Iron Man. I almost half expected them to go into Iron Man right there. But the song is kind of similar in the sense that it's a very kind of slow, methodical song with a big bridge later on. And it's excellent. It's a really solid opener. It's a little bit over six minutes long and it really kind of captures that doom and stoner rock vibe all in one. So these first three tracks I thought were very exceptional. Morbid Lust, the next track in here is definitely more upbeat. It skips building the atmosphere pretty much and just goes right for the riffs. Very reminiscent of early stuff from The Sword. And this one introduces some cool vocal harmonies, which the vocals on here are entirely clean, but they all have a level of distortion on them that is kind of interesting. The vocals on here are very similar to Red Fang. Uh, in terms of the bassist when he does his uh, clean vocals. Now, going through this album and uh, looking at all the song titles in here, Morbid Lust, uh, there's one on here called Solicitor of Evil, Forever Trapped in Hell. It kind of has a feel of those satanic exploitation films from the 1970s like Devil's Reign or Race with the Devil. And namely because their era is definitely more like 70s stoner rock or the early metal like Black Sabbath, it really kind of works together here. Now, Thrill Seeker, I thought was a stand on here because this one is, I think, a little bit more metal than the other ones. At least in the terms of it actually brings in kind of a nice chuggy riff. It's really the only spot in here where they get chuggy. And this was kind of a point where I started noticing that these guys really don't favor one style from track to track. It's very blended. There isn't really a track that is a flat out doom metal song without bringing in some stoner metal riffs or just flat out rock riffs or blues rock. It's all blended really well here so it really doesn't favor one style to the other and i really like it because it just works really well together it somehow can be doomy but kind of upbeat because you hear those cool like stoner metal blues licks in there so it's a really interesting tone on this album overall now my favorite track on here was solicitor of evil this is easily the doomiest track on here and the longest track in here, almost seven minutes, and this song is just heavy. It opens up with a wad-drenched bass tone, which I absolutely loved. And at this point, the songs have been a little bit more upbeat, so this one slows it down to a nice doomy crawl, and it kind of brings back the feel of the opening track, which I really liked. Now this is where the Monolord comparisons really came in there, but they never get as sludgy as Monolord, so it's still not quite there, but this is just excellent songwriting here. There's a really cool bridge on here that kind of brings it up a little bit. And it transitions well into this part with isolating the bass tone, which that wah-drenched bass tone comes back towards the end to and almost like a lead part underneath the guitars. There's also sections of guitar leads too, which I say leads because they double the leads and it definitely gives you that giant Tony Iommi feel because that was a big thing he always did. Absolutely kick-ass song. If there's one song you should jam from this album, it's definitely Solicitor of Evil. Now the next three tracks 
were kind of odd to me, mainly because these are the three shortest tracks on the album, and they're very similar. So this kind of brought up some pacing issues I had with the album, where I think Solicitor of Evil could have been a absolutely amazing closer on this. These three kind of come together, and they're just not up to snuff as far as the earlier tracks. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with them. They just don't have the same impact. They feel a little bit shorter and more condensed. Song structure feels a little bit more safe, almost kind of like your standard rock songs. Not a lot of atmosphere to them. They're just good rock songs, but at the same time, they all feel very similar and they're all packed in here right towards the end. These three tracks could have been like their own EP, I think. And they just have a distinctly different feel than the rest of the album, honestly. The other songs feel much more put together, much more dynamic. These just kind of feel like they're there. Not bad at all, but definitely kind of lackluster compared to the previous five tracks. So overall, I'm going to give this three and a half stars. I really enjoyed this for the most part. This is a solid listen. Yeah, towards the end, it kind of lost me with just, you know, some more standard fare in terms of songs on here compared to the earlier ones, but they were still good. And this is something I would definitely jam repeatedly. The production here was absolutely amazing. I really loved how it sounded, and I like how they blended all these styles together to really form one distinct style. It sounds great. So definitely check it out. It's a good listen. If you like stoner metal or doom metal, this should be right up your alley. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do shit like this all the time. Catch you guys later.